for like a student, it's kind of like dream come true where your design is actually implemented and actually displayed on you know such high profile location that it's actually kind of like a once in a lifetime experience that um, you can go out and experience your d um, design and um, just execute it as a student, not as a professional where you have a client and everything is more restricted. There's more freedom and creativity and um, design for this project. <laughs> I thought the, the lighting was pretty amazing. It was just cool to see the lights flickering up on top all the way through and then walking up and down the mall. You can just see our house standing out, looking in the windows. You can see all those lights flashing. I, I think the lighting design was, was spectacular. You can't help but be affected by the quality of the lighting. It gives you this kind of underlying impression of the space and ambiance. And so it's more than just a contest. It really affects everything. Lighting doesn't stop at the fixture. Uh, really, the entire house is a lighting fixture, if you think about it. The reflection off the walls, off the furniture, the angles of reflection. And so you can't just specify fixtures. You really have to think in an integrated way about the reflectance of the surfaces and so forth. One thing it was, it was very basic and simple, where it ties back to our concept, concept of an icon where we kept the traditional aesthetics of how a house lighting should look like, but we, um, we still implemented the new technology that is out there, which is the LED lighting. The engineering team came to us and say, you know, just use 500 watts of lighting budget for you. That's all you have. Josh Quinnell, who is, was the lead energy modeler in his team, uh, set the lighting budget. That was important place to start. If we had just started from aesthetic criteria, we might not have gotten to where we did in the efficiency, but this really set the target for efficiency. I think that 500 watt was a selling point for, for our presentation as far as to the judges and also to the um, general public that, you know, you can still have a beautiful lighting with a low energy budget. The reason that we won lighting was not just our lighting budget, although that was fantastic. It wasn't just our beautiful lighting layout. We had beautiful lighting over the table. We had the, the lighting that happened up in the loft area. We had the exterior lighting. I think it was also the day lighting. I, think, I know the judges were very impressed with our day lighting and our openness of our house to the outdoors. So the floor plan itself is kind of a linear um, arrangement where we have a kitchen, a dining room, and a living room. And so we really think about this as a spectrum of different light conditions. So from the one end in the kitchen, where it's a very dynamic space, you have an entrance and exit from the building out to your deck. You'll have cooking going on. You'll have different activities where you're moving around a lot. We wanted to have kind of mirror that with a very dynamic daylighting. So we, even though the space was very narrow, we wrapped it with glass to allow it to feel much larger than it was. Um, it also allows very dramatic changes in the daylight. So in the morning, because it's facing east, you have direct light that comes into the house and actually illuminates the entire length of the house. Um, then we came over to the, the living area where you have a TV and we have our work surface with a desk and a computer. You start to have these visual um, issues if you have a lot of dramatic light. You got TV screen, computer screen that you're trying to concentrate on. And so you really don't want to have harsh, direct sunlight that can produce a lot of glare. Instead, in that point, we actually turned to the north side and had some upper clear story windows that allow a lot of indirect light, because on the north side, you don't have any direct sunlight, um, to come in at a high level, reflect off the ceiling, which is a really high reflectivity paint, and then kind of illuminate the, the surfaces below other diffusely. So you don't have these harsh glares. You can concentrate on your screens, but it still feels um, illuminated, and you don't have to use electricity to power some, some lights. Maybe. After the presentation, maybe we had a better feeling, like maybe top five, maybe top three. So we were in a raincoat, soaking wet. The rest of the team was, you know, getting some rest, which they needed. And we were in the, um, under the pavilion, and they were announcing the award winners. Um, and so we had brought that little sculpture in a plastic bag and kind of hidden it because Joe had thought it would be a good visual aid if we won. <laughs> 
Um, and so they, they started describing third place team and we knew for sure that that wasn't our house. You know, it just didn't sound like anything we had done and it turned out it wasn't us. And so we were a little disappointed because we thought third place was probably a good goal for us. Second place winner, they started announcing who it was going to be and, and they don't say the, the university, they say everything about the house and, you know, leave you to decide if it's going to be you. So we got a few into that and then decided it wasn't us, so we were really bummed. So I told Joe, I said, we are going to win. He said, no, we're not, no, we're not. I said, we are winning. I tell you, we're winning. Once they started describing like what the lighting was like for our house, it was like, I think that's us. I think that's us. And they were describing the, you know, large, day, the daylighting and the windows and the beautiful, you know, light fixtures and moving forward and Joe's getting more relaxed, like, yeah, maybe this could be us. Me, I knew it was us, and I was crying and getting all excited. And when they said the electrochromic glass, I knew it was us, and I just burst into tears. And then finally, it's like, University of Minnesota. It's just like, you know, I don't, it's hard to describe the feeling, but it's just like a lot of excitement. Feels like, you know, after two years of hard work, it finally paid off kind of thing. And had brought along this glass vase that we had used in the house as a communications um, piece to describe how much power our total lighting budget consumes, which is 500 watts. And so we had 500 or five 100 watt incandescent light bulbs in that vase. And so we took that out because we knew we were going to be asked to go up. And so we brought that up onto the stand. And Rose was thanking everyone gratefully because I had just completely blanked. I don't quite remember what I said, but I think I thank the university for providing such project for us students to be involved with. And so it was just, it was just a great experience, you know, being able to thank everyone who had helped us so much and, and uh, to get some acknowledgement that we had done a pretty good job. Um, one important thing about this project is that you have to be very open-minded to other people's ideas. Um, you can't really say that I designed the lighting or I designed the interior space of the house. It's we as a team that we came up with the design. I was maybe the responsible one to execute it, but we have feedbacks from each team members about what's good about this design, what's bad about this design, how can we change it to make it better. So it's um, team design. At the end of this, I think we all created something that we're proud of, a project that we like to show other people brag about it. <laughs> yeah.